Today's story is called A Dead Secret. I'm going to tell you a story about a secret that died. A long time ago in Japan, in the province of Tamba, Tamba is in, the, in Hyogo Prefecture, and I actually live in Hyogo Prefecture, and Tamba is very close to my house. But anyway, in the province of Tamba means in the area of Tamba, okay, in the place where Tamba, there's a place called Tamba. There was a man, and he was a merchant. There was a man, and he was a merchant. A Japanese man who was a merchant, and he was a very wealthy man, a rich man, and uh, he he was a good man. He lived in a big house and in and, and everything. So he was a rich merchant. Now he had a daughter. He had a daughter, and this daughter she was a very very uh, smart girl. She was a smart girl. She was very good at schoolwork. And so uh, the father felt it was a shame. It was a pity. This time, in this context, she, she, he didn't feel sorry. He felt this was a shame that she stayed in a country, countryside like in Tamba. He wanted to, uh, her to go to Kyoto, the capital of Japan those days. And he wanted her to learn more about other subjects that which she could not learn in the country school. And also she, uh, he wanted her to uh, learn other things, such things like manners and etiquette, uh, which uh, the ladies in the capital had chance to learn. And so he wanted her to go to the capital and a good school to learn. And so uh, uh, he asked one of his servants. Uh, there was a young man, young man, who worked for this man. Uh, and so his, uh, and so he asked him. He was he could trust him, trusty, trusty servant. He asked the trusty servant to go along with the girl so that the girl would be able to travel to Kyoto safely, okay? Now, she went to Kyoto and she went to school every day. She went to school every day and she learned many different things, but at the same time, like he wanted her to, she uh, acquired etiquettes, manners, how to behave, what to say, how to say. She learned the polite accomplishments. Okay. Polite. Polite means uh, courtesy, good, yeah? Bad manners and good manners. Good manners. Polite, uh, com, uh, I think there are two C's. Uh, 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 accomplishment. So, he wanted her to learn the polite accomplishments, and that's what she did. She went to school, she was a good girl, she worked hard, and she studied hard, and she learned polite accomplishments of the ladies in the cities. Now, she went to school for two years, and she came back. After she came back, she got married. He knew a young man whom she, he wanted her to get married to, and so he, she got married. And she got married to a young man, and... Oh, okay, it doesn't look like a okay, young man. And, and they lived in a beautiful home in Tamba, and they had a little child, and they were very, very happy together. But after four years, only four years later, her, her name was Osono. 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 
Her name was Osono. Osono died. She died. And so they were sad, but then they, you know, they had a funeral. They had a burial. Okay? Had a funeral. They had a burial. And they were sad, but she's gone. Now, the story starts actually from here. This is the house where Osono lived. This is the first floor and this is the second floor. Now, there was a door, okay, a door, okay, and then there was a stairs to go up upstairs. After she died, after the funeral, okay, you know what funeral is. Funeral is when people die, you have this ceremony for the person who is dead. So they had a burial, they bury the person. So after the funeral, everybody came home. And then that night, the little boy who was probably about three, three years old, he went upstairs to the mother's room, okay? Osono used to stay, ha had a room upstairs in the sec on the second floor, and in her room there was this beautiful chest of drawers, okay, chest of drawers. Now, by the chest of drawers she had a little table and there was a little lamp. The little boy came to the mother's room and then she saw, I mean, he saw her, his mother standing by the chest of drawers. So he looked at her and he said, Mama. The woman turned around and smiled. But he knew that the mother was dead, so he became afraid. So he came downstairs and he said to his father, 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 mother is upstairs. And so the father went upstairs and he also saw Osono's spirit. Osono's ghost was standing there by that chest of drawers. Okay, this is a chest of drawers. Drawer means this is a drawer. Okay, this is a drawer, 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 drawer. Okay, so she was sitting, uh, standing by the chest of drawers and she was looking at the chest of drawers. We could see her body because the light, the lamp was on. By the light of the lamp, we could see, or they could see, her figure. You know, figure, her shape, figure, figure, shape. We could see her shape, okay? Um, she was looking at this chest of drawers, which contained, okay, inside the drawer, there were some of uh, Osono's kimono's draw, uh, the dresses, and there are other things like uh, ornaments, uh, earrings and, and uh, uh, maybe watches. I don't know what else she had, but she had lots of different things in the draw drawers. And so she was looking at this. Now, the husband looked at her and she was, he was, she, he could see clearly her body. Clearly he could see her body uh, above the waist. But below the waist, from the waist down, the shape became very, very thin and it became invisible towards the, towards the, uh, the leg area. Uh, it was, you cannot see, nothing was there. From the waist downwards, everything sent into invisibility. You couldn't see, uh, in incomplete, the shape is incomplete, it's not really a body. Okay. 
he was very afraid. And so he went downstairs and he talked to his mother. He used to, they used to live with uh, the, the Osono and husband and the child and uh, the husband's mother. And so the mother said to, uh, uh, to, uh, to Osono's husband, her son, maybe Osono still thinks about her dresses because she loved her dresses and she loved her earrings and necklaces and jewelry. Maybe she's back here to look at those things. And so they decided to take everything out of the drawers and take it to the temple and burn them. So the next day they opened up, opened up all the drawers, all the drawers, and they took out his, her dress or kimono and her sash, you know, the belt and other things, socks and uh, other mufflers and scarves and gloves and everything out of this place. And they took, the, took them to the temple, near, near, nearby temple, and they burned them all, okay? So they thought that the, uh, the ghost, the Osono's ghost will not come back again the next night. But Osono came back. And every night she came back. And so the house was, uh, this house became the house of fear because everybody was afraid. It became, they were terrified. They didn't know why Osono was coming back and they did not want to see a ghost and the child was afraid. And so they wanted to solve this problem. Now they went to a temple again. And this time they talked to the chief priest. They talked to the chief, chief priest, the head priest. And this head priest, his name was Daigen. Daigen Osho. Osho means priest. Daigen, priest Daigen. He was the chief priest and he was known to be the very spiritual man. They went to talk to him and they said, there was a, a, a woman who died in the house, but the woman was coming back to, the, uh, to, to her room and she stands in front of us, chest of doors, and she's always looking at the chest of doors. And so he said, maybe she's back because she wants something from the chest of doors. But the family said, I know, we know, because uh, we thought so too, and so we took out, took everything out of the drawers, and we burned them in the temple temple yard the other day, or yesterday, or the day before yesterday. Daigen Osho, a priest of Daigen, said, "Hmm. Well, then I'll come tonight to your house, and I will pray, and I will chant the sutra. Sutras is the um, uh, the uh, holy uh, sentences." Uh, religious sentences that the uh, uh, priests uh, chant to uh, purify the area or to save the, uh, the dead, uh, to go to the heaven and things like that. So, priest said, I'll come tonight to your house, he said. So, uh, the, the Zen priest came at about 10 p.m. at night, okay? And he came and he said to the member of the house, he said, do not, I will go upstairs to Osono's room, but to you, you family do not come upstairs until I, I come down tomorrow morning, he said to the family members. The family members agreed and they said they will not come upstairs. And so Daigen Osho went upstairs. Okay, Daigen Osho went upstairs. Now, there was this pillow, sitting pillow. So Daigen Osho sat down and he began to pray uh, so that the uh, priest, uh, the, so that the ghost will be saved. The ghost will go to heaven uh, peacefully. And so he prayed and he uh, chanted and he waited what would happen. Then, 
it was about the hour of the rat. Hour of the rat. Hour of the rat means the hour of the mouse. Okay, it's about the time eleven o'clock at night till one o'clock in the morning. Two hours around that time is called the hour of the rat. Anyway, it was about after eleven o'clock. Daigen Osho felt a little bit strange because. Soon there was this figure came into the room and he could see distinctly, clearly, there was a body there. There was a woman's body. He could see the face, he could see the neck, he could see the uh, shoulders, upper bodies, but soon from the waist down it just thinned down to nothing. You could not see anything down there, but he you could see he could see the head and the uh, shoulders and the upper body. Daigen Ojo began to utter, began to utter means say, okay, began to utter uh, sutras. You know the chant began to chant holy formulas. You know holy holy sacred religious um, chants. He might have said nam myo renge kyo, I don't know. So he began to say these things. But the ghost did, did not disappear. And so Daigen Osho talked to her. He called her name and he said, Osono-san, he said, can I help you? He said, Osono, looked back and looked at Osho, Osho or looked at uh, Daigen Osho. He said, are you afraid of something? Are you looking for something? Do you have something there in the chest of drawers that you are worried about? He said to the, the, the spirit, ghost. Okay, And the, the spirit turned around and she nodded. She nodded. Nod means yes. She didn't say, but she nodded and she said, she showed, she agreed. And so he said, I will see what's inside the, the chest of drawers. And so Osono moved away and Daigen Osho came to the drawers, chest of drawers and he began to pull out the chest of drawers, a drawer. From a chest. The first drawer, the top drawer, and he took it, took it out completely from the uh, chest and he looked inside, look, he looked at, uh, uh, behind the chest, uh, no, no, behind the, uh, uh, the drawer and bottom of the drawer, uh, inside and out, and he looked everywhere but nothing was there. He looked, took out the second drawer and did the same but nothing was there. He took out the bottom drawer and he looked inside and out, but nothing was there. So he said to the spirit, he said to Osono, nothing is there. But then Osono still looked at the chest of drawer. She gazed at it. Gaze. She gazed. Look. Her look was fixed. Her eyes were fixed on the chest of drawers. Okay, she gazed at it, and um, she did not move. So Daigen Osho said, "Is there something hidden inside the drawers? Is there something hidden? Did you hide something?" inside the drawers and then spirit the ghost nodded and so Daigen Osho looked and looked and then he saw the lining of the a drawer you know the uh, when you have a drawer like this sometimes you know um, 
inside the drawer there is a lining paper lining and there was a paper lining inside the drawer and so he decided to pull out peel out he did that with the first drawer he peeled it out nothing was there he uh, took the second drawer and inside the drawer there were lining so he peeled it peeled them all out but nothing was there but in the lowermost drawer the bottom drawer he peeled out the lining and then he found a letter okay now Japanese letter you know the envelope is not like this okay Japanese envelope is like like this like this so so it was a an envelope and so he showed it to okay let's see here's here's Daigenosho Daigenosho and here's the uh, girl ghost so he showed the ghost is this is this what you were looking for and then the ghost looked at it she looked at the the, the, the envelope or letter she looked at it wistfully 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 means sadly, painfully, uh, regretfully, and longing. She looked like she was longing for it. She looked like she really liked it. But she also looked like she regretted it. And she also looked like she was painful. It, she looked like she was heartbroken. She looked at it wistfully, okay? Looking, she's thinking about something past. She, something, something in the past. And she looked at wistfully and she looked sad, but then she nodded. So he said, is this what you are worried about? And she said, yes. And so Daigen Osho said, do not worry, he said. I will take it back to my temple and I will burn it today, this morning, he said to the, to the ghost. Ghost bowed as if she was saying thank you, and then she disappeared. She vanished. She faded away. Fade away. Okay? Fade away. She faded away. So, Diane Osho came downstairs and he said to the family members, he, he came down and he said to the family members, do not worry. He did not tell the family members about the letter because he had promised Os Osono that he wouldn't tell anybody. And so the Daigen Osho said to the family members, do not worry, Osono will never come back again. And then the members, family members were very happy. They said, thank you. And Daigen Osho went home, back to his temple. That morning, as soon as he got up, he went back to the temple. He sat down, he sat down, and he opened up the letter, and he read it. It was a love letter. It was a love letter. Love letter that was given to Osono when she was going to school in Kyoto. She went to school in Kyoto for two years and during that time she met a young man. And this young man loved Osono so he had written Osono love letters. Osono took just one letter when she married the, the man and then she always hid it. She hid the letter inside the lining of the bottom drawer of her chest of drawers. It was her secret. 
Daigen Osho read the letter. We don't know what was written in the letter. We don't know. But Daigen Osho read it. But he didn't tell anybody. He went to, he made a fire. He made a fire and he threw the letter into the fire and the fire was burned. So the secret died with Osho san. He died in Osho. The secret died too. Osho no died, but secret also died with the priest. The end.